Hi, in this short video I'm going to discuss the IRQ interrupt input on the KE06. To do this I'm using the Microtasker project and its simulator in Visual Studio. In the configuration file I first select the Freedom KE06 target for our work. I'm going to let the simulator run initially to get an idea of what it does. Here we see the board being simulated and the UART is also connected to a virtual TerraTerm connection so that I also have some debug output. Looking at the IRQ line itself there is a single such input pin on this device and it can be located however at different pin locations. The first one is here on PTA5 we see that PTA5 is often the reset input which is its default mode but it can also be programmed to have the IRQ function the other locations for the IRQ are on port I if you look at the bottom here you'll see these pins also have the IRQ capability we have to remember however that only one of these can be connected at any one time that means we have a single IRQ interrupt on this device what I'll do now is enable this interrupt operation. Here's a routine which performs that. We say that we want the port interrupt, we give it a user interrupt callback handle, and then we define which pin and which port the interrupt is going to be on. Port I bit 6 is chosen. So we let the simulation operate so that we hit this breakpoint, and we can take a look at what the configuration then does. The first thing that we need to do is to enable clocks to the IRQ module. This is performed here. Now we check that we have a valid pin. Here we see that port I bit 6 is a valid pin and we configure the sim pin select 0. In the memory viewer here we can watch this being performed there we saw that we had the pin selected the next thing that we do is check to see whether we need a pull-up enabled in this case we do which means that the pull-up is set in the IRQ register we define whether we have a falling rising edge or a level sensitive interrupt we enter the interrupt handler which is this routine here into the NVIC and then we enable the interrupt in the IRQ module there we saw the bit being set I'm going to let the simulation continue now what we see now is that port I bit 6 is now configured for a peripheral operation which is the IRQ function if I simulate a falling edge on this input we hit the IRQ interrupt service routine. This interrupt service routine will then clear the interrupt flag and then jump to the user callback handler. Here we see it jumping back to the user callback handler. So I let this continue running. We see that we have no interrupts on a rising edge because it's programmed to be just falling edge sensitive and if I look at the application interface we see that each time this falling edge occurs we then get a debug message on the UART output.